Hey, what's up? Happy New Year. Iron Tamer coming to you from the Strength Dojo at Nashville Kettlebell. I want to talk to you, today's January 2nd, I want to talk to you today about uh, 2014. I want to talk to you today about finishing a sentence. <laughs> no, seriously, I want to talk to you today about uh, New Year's resolutions and goal settings and all that sort of stuff, because it seems like this time of year is when everyone decides that this is going to be the year that I'm going to accomplish X, and very few people manage to um, complete the process that it takes to achieve whatever the goal or the resolution is. And so um, I just want to throw some of my thoughts out on it. Ultimately, what we're talking about when we talk about a resolution or, or most goals, I'm not going to say this is every case because I may be wrong, but in most of the time what we see is people want to lose weight or they want to make more money or they want to get along better with their friends and spouses and relationships and all that and we really wind up focusing on the wrong thing we focus on the outcome rather than the process and the process is the thing that leads to the outcome so we try really hard whatever the hell that means to achieve a goal without really focusing on the process that'll get us there you know, I can try all day to go from where I'm sitting right now on the floor in the middle of downtown Nashville to go to Ireland because I miss those guys. And I can try really hard right now. I'm trying really hard to go to Ireland, but until I get up off the floor, go get in the car or go get to the computer and book the ticket and go get on the plane, um, I don't really have to try to do those things. Those are just things that happen naturally once the course of action is understood. So it's not about trying harder, it's about doing the right things or doing, I hesitate to even use the word right, it's about doing the things that line up with accomplishing the goal. And if you do the things habitually, consistently, that line up with whatever goal you've set for yourself, you want to have more money, stop spending so much, find a way to make a little more, and the next thing you know you'll have more money. But if you just sit around and try to make more money, then, or try to have more money, I don't even know how you would begin to do that. Ultimately, I think what we're talking about is that almost all goals and almost all resolutions, at least all of them that I can think of, have to do ultimately with boiling down to one thing. And what that one thing is, and this is important, I think, um, and if it speaks to you, then good, and if not, then, then that's fine too. Ultimately, what we're talking about is not accomplishment of something. What we're talking about is identifying something that does not contribute to our greater good. Now, it may be something that at one point did contribute to our greater good to make us better, but it no longer does. So we want to identify this thing, whatever it is, that is no longer contributing to us becoming better or to our greater good as an individual and eliminate that, release it and let it go, and replace it with something that does contribute to our greater good and does move us in the direction of being a better version of ourselves. <laughs> so rather than focus on I want to lose weight or have more money or, or whatever, focus on the process by which you can get there. What is getting in the way of you losing weight? Because if you're drinking beer and eating cheese fries every night, once you let that go and replace that with a more appropriate behavior that's in line with what you want to accomplish, it tends to just happen. You stop trying and you start doing. So try less, do more, and um, focus on the process. Here's wishing you health, happiness, and prosperity in 2014.